Welcome to dealing with materials data, collection, analysis and interpretation. Uh, I am Guru Rajan and uh, we are uh, doing a module on R programming language. And uh, so this is a uh, introductory session, this is an introduction to R. And in this session we are going to look at uh, uh, demos and how to get help when you are working with R. Uh, that is the aim of this session to, to let you know how to get help and uh, how to look at some of the demos. Okay. So, in R terminal uh, using help command, how to use help command to get information is the first thing we are going to do. I will also show how to invoke help in R studio. Um, I told you about R studio, but we have not used R studio yet. So, we will use and uh, we will use some of the demos to understand the capabilities of R. Specifically what we are going to do is to invoke R and, uh, and the help is available all the time in the R console or if you are on R studio and help that start is a good starting point. Uh, if you do not know anything that is the best place to uh, start the uh, help. And the demo is another good place to explore. Uh, demo basically gives you some idea of the capabilities of R. So, graphics, image, plot math, colors and NLM are some of the demos that we are going to look at in this. So, like I said, I have some notes prepared. Um, let us do that. And this is the note. So, let us invoke R. Uh, last time I showed how to invoke R uh, from the terminal. Uh, it is also possible that uh, if you have this uh, shortcut uh, and, and then you just click on this, you get the R console. And like I said, the R version is 3.6.1, action of the toes is what we are using. So, let us say help that we want to get. So, help that start is a good uh, starting point and it will open uh, browser. And in the browser, it will give you all the information. So, as you can see, this is very, very detailed help. There is an introduction to R. This is what I mentioned in the manuals. Uh, this is the uh, material that we want to, um, want, I, I want you to explore. And this is the kind of material that we are going to cover. And there are also other information like how to write R extensions. So, if you are a developer or the language definition, and installation and administration. So, this is where I recommended that you use uh, spoken tutorials for example, but it is possible to get that help from the um, R uh, uh, documentation itself. And what are uh, the, how, how does R work? So, this is about the internals and how to get data into R and uh, get data out of R. Okay. So, there are other references, what are the packages and search engine keywords and about license and news and resources and, and lots of other material. User manuals is another thing that I mentioned and if you go to user manuals for example, you will get uh, um, lots of information, right. So, so the, what are the manuals in package survival, so what are the manuals, manuals in package R part, what are the. So, so, there is plenty of information that you can get by using this uh, command uh, help that start. You can also get a specific help like I show here. Uh, for example, if you know, let us say that I want to know what is the uh, sign function. Okay? So, I say help sign and then I get information. Okay? So, these are trigonometric functions. So, these functions give the obvious trigonometric functions because it is sin, cosine, etc. And uh, they respectively compute the cosine, sine, tangent, arc cosine, arc sine, arc tangent, uh, and the two argument arc tangent. Okay, uh, so so you have this uh, cos pi x, sine pi x, tan pi x, etc. Compute cos pi into x, sine pi into x, tan pi into x. So this is another information that is given. So it is cos sine tan, a cos a sine a tan, a tan two, and cos pi sine pi tan pi. Okay. So, these are uh, numeric or complex vectors. So, the arguments that it takes, for example, there is a y here that is y, y is given. And so, they are numeric or complex vectors. So, you can calculate uh, sign for a bunch of values uh, and there is more information. And, and the most important information, for example, angles are in radians, not degrees for the standard versions. right? So, which means if you want to calculate um, 
uh, any of these uh, trigonometric uh, functions, then uh, you have to change the angle value if it is given in degrees into radians. So, so information like this, what is the input, uh, in what unit it is there, uh, what is the command. And the help file is also very useful because uh, you will see uh, lots of other information, okay. So, and uh, there is also the reference and what I like the best, the examples. So, you will be able to directly take these examples and run them, right. So, you can copy and uh, you can paste them here. Um, you can let us copy. So, the up key command actually gets you the information that you got in the, 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 the previous command and uh, let me try to copy this commands. Copy and let me paste. Okay, so so you can just uh, use this, and so it's a very easy and fast way of uh, getting used to some of these commands. Okay, so what next? Uh, suppose I want to know how to get the access information. Okay, so you say okay access. Now, there is no documentation for access, right. So, maybe you have a plot, you want to know how the axis uh, y, x, etc. are and you thought that there is something like access like there was sign and then it is very helpful. So, it says okay, try access. When you do, so it actually basically looks for all help files and uh, a concept or title matching access, it actually gets. Right Now, if you want to know more about this for example, let us say ggplot2 render access is what I want to know more about, let us copy this and then you put this question mark and paste that and then you get information on that. So, so this is another uh, way of getting information from R. You can try to look up some uh, keyword and if uh, the keyword is not a specific keyword like we did first time sign was a specific keyword, uh, but access is not appearing, but it will still look up the help files and find information wherever this keyword appears and will give that information to you. And from that you can choose what you want to explore. So, this is the other way that you can use help. So, that is what we have done. Okay. So, now let us uh, say demo and uh, then it gives you all possible demos uh, that are available. Uh, Let us say that I want to try this uh, demo which was called Hershey, all right. So, it says return to start, so it opens a graphic device, enter uh, and then I can go see what it is. Okay, let me move it here and I can keep entering and I will keep getting uh, all this information. Okay. So, this is just to show you the capabilities of R. Uh, so, I mean it is not really uh, something that we are going to use, but uh, right. So, as you can see things keep changing. Okay. So, now it has come out. So, we have come back to the R prompt. As you could see uh, when I am executing commands on the console, I have to keep going to these uh, figures or images and sometimes they are not even seen. I have to locate them first and see. Now, that is where the integrated development environment comes very handy uh, and this is the uh, IDE. Now, uh, it actually consists of 4 pens. So, let me let me do this, let us say that I want to write a new R script or something. So, there is this editor which you can use to write the R script and here is the console because this is exactly like the R console that we got R version 3.6.1 action of the toes etc. And uh, you see the help files are shown here, right help files and if you make some plots, plots will be shown here and the packages will be shown here 
uh, and this is uh, uh, information about the history and the environment and, and things like that. So, the R studio pan uh, has consists of 4 panes and uh, the editor, the console and you can even get a terminal here for example and uh, then you have all these help files and the environment information. Let us use the demo here and so there you here you will see that uh, let us say that the demo that I want to get. Um, so, so I mentioned some 4-5 uh, demos. Uh, right. So, demo graphics is what first we want to do, let us do demo graphics, right. Okay. Now, you can see that um, okay. see the plot shows here. So, I, I can keep uh, skipping through. So, this is a sample color wheel, right and uh, see the, the, uh, the sales as a pie chart and, um, and, and the notched box plots and uh, the, the time versus distance uh, in a Brownian motion and uh, so how R has been becoming popular. So, there are lots of information right. So, this is some uh, uh, normal random variable. So, it is a distribution box uh, the, the histogram plot and um, so there is some data uh, which can be plotted. Uh, these uh, data are already built in into R. So, these are used as example data for uh, learning uh, and uh, we, we, will, we might occasionally use, but most of the times we will make our own data because we want materials data and use them. And so, you can of course, get nice color plots and uh, you can get uh, these kind of contour plots and uh, you can give the information in many different ways. So, it has come to the prompt. So, we have completed this demo. In a similar fashion, you can have several demos and uh, actually this is one of the biggest uh, files in the notes so far, 56 pages because it gives you all that we have seen through now uh, and this is what we have run through right uh, up to this. Okay. So, that is the next demo. So, these I think are from demo um, colors, let us go, what are the commands, right. This is the image, okay. So, graphics and then demo image, uh, sorry, let me go to the our studio, right. So, this is the demo image and we start and then we start seeing this, uh, right. So, that is what you saw in the tutorial and demo I think colors, yes. So, this is the colors demo and it shows you all possible color schemes that you can get and all possible colors that you can get. So, this, uh, so these are the uh, uh, demos that are available. I, I want you to explore. I have given a few more demos uh, here in the, in the documentation just for you to explore. Um, so, this is a demo called NLM. Um, so, let us uh, do this. Yeah, so this is the NLM demo. So and and the R has come out of this. So um, either in the R console uh, that is here, or in the R Studio, uh, you can use both help and demos. For example, if you ask for help here, um, and. Uh, so, as you can see uh, R studio also has this advantage. For example, do you want to have help on tan or tan hyperbolic or tan pi? So, you can get this information. For example, let us say I want help for tan pi, tan hyperbolic. So, it gives you hyperbolic functions. So, cosh sin h tan h a cos h a sin h a tan h etc. And again x is a numeric or complex vector and there are these other uh, information 
and uh, so so it's it's very helpful sometimes to use R Studio because everything is in the same screen, and you can switch between one or the other. And uh, for example, you can even write a, a, a small uh, script, for example, here, and then run the script here and uh, look at the result here uh, in the plot and uh, keep track of uh, the information, the history, etc. here on this pane. So this way uh, using the help and demo is very useful and uh, it gives you a feel and it also familiarizes you with uh, the uh, R and, and, uh, and R console and R studio. Um, so, so I strongly recommend that uh, you explore all the demos that are available. Uh, that will also tell you about your installation if it is complete and if you are able to see all the things that you should see. Um, so, it is a, a good exercise to begin with. Thank you.